Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And if you're on, on Windows 11 22H2 and you are wondering when you're going to get 23H2, well, a few things have happened today. First of all, 23H2 is now finally in what Microsoft calls broad deployment. That means if you don't have a block or anything holding that behind, um, there's a good chance that you could see 23H2 appear as a optional update. But more than that, they are starting now to choose machines that are forced upgraded to 23H2. Why? Because 22H2 has end of support later this year. So they're already preparing you to move on to at least 23H2 now. It's going to be gradual. They say they're using uh, machine learning with the telemetry they get from your PC to see if it's a safe upgrade before they do it. And they say that if you don't see it, one trick that you could do is go to the settings app, go into Windows updates, and you'll have a switch that says get the latest updates as soon as they're available. Turn the switch on and then click check for updates. It seems that some of you that don't see it might actually see it with this switch turned on. So if you desire to move on to 23H2 now and don't see it, try that trick. It might actually show up after that. Uh, this does not bypass checks or anything. If you put on that switch and you get 23H2, it's simply because you are meant to have 23H2 without any problems. It is already verified. So uh, check it out if you want to check the, the 23H2 update. And uh, for those that don't have it yet, uh, gradually over the next uh, months, it will be rolling out uh, and force upgrading your 22H2 to 23H2. Once again, it's a rather small update, so uh, it doesn't take very long to install. And that is uh, Microsoft's way of move you, moving you on to the latest version so that you don't you know, get end of support and, and have no security updates. So this is what happens, and the um, updates uh, are really, you know, when we get broad deployment, that means 23H2 is finally, you know, good enough to be on most PCs uh, for the most part. And for those, once again, that are asking me, should I force it? Um, usually, you know, in most cases, what I would say is wait, because it will eventually show up. Um, and you can always force it at the time required when, if you don't see it, there's a way, you know, several ways to force it. And we usually do a set of videos before that happens. So uh, for now, just wait it. And like I said, that little switch, get the latest updates as soon as they're available. You can turn it on and check updates. Maybe 23H2 is just around the corner. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.